morning guys, I'm here today and Forbidden Valley is a bit damp, but I'm here for the opening of Nemesis Reborn. Bit of a spoiler alert, I have already ridden it. I'm going to take you through the whole queue line experience because I kind of joined all the way back in Katanga Canyon uh, about four hours ago. So the Keeper Nemesis starts all the way back here behind Curtival Manor. Madness. So probably the most fun part of the day so far is people walking from Forbidden Valley thinking they're reaching the back of the Nemesis queue, only to realise that it keeps going and going and going. So an hour or so in the Nemesis queue so far, and I've just made it past the refill station. Slow but steady progress. Is it running? Hey. Is it running, the bus? I hope so. Yeah? I parked it up down below to me. Eh? I'll go and find it. <laughs> Look at the size of that chopper. Are the phalanx compensating for something? <laughs> it's on. No, nothing here, mate. It's not on. Oh, is that intelligence? In here, there's contamination there. So oh, cheers, mate. Yeah, yeah, definitely contamination down there. Keep moving along, don't look. Everything's safe, it's fine. You can control that now. We need to remove control it control yeah, immediately. Yeah. Get it moved, let's go. Move it away now. the queue for the queue now to join the queue so the views of nemesis from the ride area have really improved they've stripped back all these trees here and you can see so much the queue is absolutely insane though so the queue now runs up around the back of nemesis so you can see the entire site from there so looking forward to getting to that stretch so we have some additional track in the queue line now So we have a new phalanx gun in the queue line. It's not the most convincing looking weapon, I have to say. So the views of Nemesis from up here are pretty astounding. And here we see some of the more controversial queue line elements, such as a pallet and a ladder. Uh, I'm not sure what the phalanx are playing at there, presumably trying to scale a tree, build a treehouse. So this section out the back here has been really cleared out. You get some amazing views of the first drop here, all in its lush new black and red. I've also added these notes in the queue line here as well, so if anyone's causing any bother, you can scan a QR code and call security. probably see my car from here. So four hours and some rain later and I'm just about to enter the station for Nemesis Reborn. The hype has been building, I think the spirit's been dampened slightly by the weather, but I'm about to go in the station and get on this beast that's been closed for just over a year. I'm so hyped. <laughs> So 
Nemesis Reborn, it does all the things that Nemesis used to do well, but I've got to say, I don't think the rider's experience is as good as the OG Nemesis. I sat on the outer row, or outer left row, and there was a very noticeable rattle throughout the whole experience. Hopefully it's just a case that something needs to bed in, or it's just running itself through, but yeah, I don't think that's as good. It's still quite intense, but it doesn't feel nearly as forceful. Like the, um, the Zero G up there on the drop, it doesn't quite have the whip that it used to have. Like I say, I'm hoping it maybe just needs a bit of time to bed in. It's still an amazing attraction, of course, but this used to be the best roller coaster in the country, and I'm not sure if it still is, but I'm gonna spend a bit more time around this area, process my thoughts a little bit, then I'm gonna come back to you. I am seeking the truth as to where that rattle came from. Phalanx, where are you? So in addition to the four hour rate to ride Nemesis, there's also an hour long queue just to get into the Bunker 94 supply store. I think I'm gonna leave that one till later. So I've added new uh, food and beverage stations as well. We've got energy station for the drinks. And we've got generator over there and donut division, formerly Nemices. Nemesis Reborn now is a slightly more manageable 90 minute queue so I'm going to go back in for a second ride and try and uh, see if I can get a better ride than last time. Hopefully it was just uh, the result of four hours stood in a queue, the last hour of that in the rain and very high expectations and maybe now that things have lowered slightly uh, it will just be more like the Nemesis of old but let's get in and have a look. Joined here by Loops and Lap Bars and Loops and Donuts, all the Loops. empty seats on that train with a 90 minute queue. Operations. Good? Yeah, I'm safe. there on Nemesis Reborn. It's so good to get back on Nemesis again. It's still probably my favourite UK coaster for now, but it's, something doesn't feel right. It's hard to put your finger on. There's, um, there's three or four very noticeable judders throughout the ride experience. Um, I think some parts don't feel as forceful, some parts feel slightly more forceful. The, um, the zero G over the station, I definitely felt a lot more from that second ride around. I don't think that first inversion smacks as hard as it used to but um, it's still a great ride experience it's great to have it back but I don't think it's as good as it was so let's talk about a day as a whole Horton Towers have put a lot of effort in today there's so many actors around dressed in phalanx gear you've got conspiracy theorists all kinds of activity going on which is really cool to see you've got people scanning you to see if you're contaminated apparently I am um, subscribe anyway it's not contagious but it's been a good day, it's been a good day, but it's... I do feel slightly underwhelmed, I can't really explain why. I think maybe I just built Nemesis up so much, it's been my favourite UK coaster for so long. And yet something just does, does feel slightly off with it. Maybe it needs to bed in, maybe in a few months time it'll be riding really, really well. But for the time being, it's, it's kind of... UK number one, but I'm expecting it to be dethroned by Hyperia. So the Mushroom Cloud bus is still here. They now have interior lighting, so clearly a mechanic came out to fix it, but couldn't really salvage much from this situation. It's all very spiky around here now. Get 
to the chopper. Final thoughts on Nemesis. So there's a few things that I really, really love. The station design is fantastic. The animated eye looks amazing. I love that you had all the actors roaming around today as well. I think that really adds something to the atmosphere and in, in the environment itself. I think the helicopter up close and personal is huge and intimidating and that actually does look really cool and that was something I was a bit concerned about. And the new queue line really adds a lot because it kind of takes you through aspects of the sort of conspiracy storyline with the seek the truth guys. You have the phalanx gun up on the hill there which will make a bang as uh, as the train passes in front of it. So there's a lot there that's really really good. I think the way it's been presented um, is really impressive and I want to see more of this from Merlin quite frankly and hopefully while it looks unlikely we get something similar with Hyperia at Thought Park as well. In terms of the ride experience so I think there are a couple of things that have done better but a few things that aren't. Certainly the roll over the station is really good. That felt really forceful. Um, you get a steam effect there as well and the train kind of carries the steam over uh, the station with it so that it looks cool, it feels cool. But I felt like the first inversion and the loop didn't hit as hard as they used to. And like I said earlier, there's a very noticeable judder in three or four spots, which does detract from the ride experience slightly. Now, maybe there's a nostalgia bias there. As I've said multiple times, Nemesis was my favorite UK roller coaster. And with a year of it not operating, I guess, you know, maybe I was remembering it slightly better than it was. Also, since I last rode Nemesis, I've rode a ton of really amazing roller coasters. So perhaps it just sits a bit lower than it used to and it's as simple as that. But um, I, yeah, I am a bit concerned about those juddery moments because I don't really feel that should be happening on a brand new coaster, especially not a B&M. I mean, they're renowned for their smoothness. But there we go. Overall, obviously, really happy to have Nemesis back. I think the atmosphere on the park today was fantastic. Awesome to see some guys out, spent some time with Loops and Donuts and Loops and Lap Bars International, so that was cool. I think my expectations were maybe just a little bit too high. But what do you make of Nemesis? Were you here on park today? Did you get to experience it? Or have you been following it on social media, eagerly kind of awaiting reactions? Uh, I'm really interested to know what other people feel of this because um, I wonder if I'm kind of in the minority here. What I've seen, everyone seems to absolutely love it. And don't get me wrong, I do too. I just feel as though the ride experience wasn't quite at the level that I was expecting. But there we go. Thank you all for watching, as always. If you hit like on the video, that really helps. And I will be back soon with more theme park content. Take care.